What's up guys, it's Will from RevolutionaryLifestyleDesign.com coming to you today to talk about the benefits of hot yoga. This is something that I've been doing for about five years now, five or six years, uh, because in my late 20s, I'm 33 now, I was just played with um, injuries from playing sports all my life and weightlifting and not having a good diet in my early 20s, um, plus genetic factors, arthritis runs heavily in my family. So I knew that I had to do um, a couple things to to change how my body was uh, was feeling and one of them was, was doing hot yoga. And since I started doing hot yoga, from the first class, I noticed an increase in my mood, uh, strength in the gym, flexibility, and all the health markers across the board. I think this is something that every guy should do. You know, you might think it's it's a bit girly or whatever, but you know, there's plenty of athletes that do it. And guys, I mean, you're you're, you're going to be probably one of the only straight guys in your class of 20, 30 hot girls with yoga fit bodies okay if you're looking to meet girls it's an amazing place to to meet women um, now I recommend two three four five months of training um, so that you have all the postures down correctly with a good instructor before you start practicing at home like I do now you can have a look at my RLD hot yoga routine to see exactly what I do. Um, I'm going to do that about three, four times a week, and it's about 20 to 30 minutes. And then I might do one class um, once a week because it's just more convenient to wake up and do it in my own home. Um, but the benefits are massive, and the I just go to one class, get the group on, or get an introductory free class. And I guarantee you, you will walk out of that class after an amazing workout and you're going to feel terrific. Okay? So here are the benefits. And this isn't yogi hippie bullshit. This is scientific benefits. Yoga increases your mood while decreasing stress and anxiety by causing a 27% increase in levels of, of the neurotransmitter GABA. If you follow me and you know that I, I recommend Fenibit, I feel like a hot yoga class is equivalent to about a gram uh, or 1.25 grams of fenibit. They both raise GABA and it's a great natural way to, to raise your GABA levels. If you do a, a yoga class on fenibit, you are going to be in the stratosphere relaxed after the end of that class. Uh, yoga, asana, training sessions increase um, brain GABA levels. There's a study by um, Streeter CC, Jensen JE, and a number of different um, scientists if you want to look that up or you can look at the the article I have that complements this video directly. Uh, yoga increases strength and flexibility in a study by the Journal of Strength and Conditioning Research hot yoga was shown to give a 13.1 percent increase in deadlift strength as well as an increase in lower back hamstring flexibility and shoulder flexibility in healthy adults over an eight-week study uh, Brian L Tracy is the scientist to look for for that uh, my my results have been probably better than that um, this is not bullshit but when I started doing yoga the tendon strength and um, my joint strength went went way up. So over a six month period of when I first started doing yoga, I, I noticed an increase in, in all my lifts that was above and beyond my natural levels of of um, increasing weight, and that was 100% due to to yoga. I uh, heard Pilates is is similar in terms of um, you know joint and strength increases and just little stuff like around your body you, your your tendons here become like iron uh, your handshake your grip strength grows goes up all all those things um, I have noticed and the science backs it up so finally just real quick my results from hot yoga my tendons and ligaments are harder uh, massive decreases in muscle and joint stiffness massive increases in flexibility after a serious class it's easier to sleep at night um, I'm stronger in the gym, 
due to tendon ligaments and stabilizer muscle strength. Uh, if I do yoga consistently, I'll definitely notice an increase in sex drive. That's primarily because of the increase in blood flow as well as um, you know strengthening of, of arteries and, and all that stuff. Increase in, in overall well-being and it's the only type of exercise that functions as restorative. To me, cardio is, is draining. Weights um, is heavy on the joints. I would not work out if it wasn't for, I would not, I would not weight lift if it wasn't for vanity and for looking good for women. I would not do it. I would only do yoga and, um, you know, a couple sessions of light cardio a week. And the yoga is the only thing that I find restorative. I find cardio draining and I find weights even worse. Um, weightlifting is the reason I, I needed to start doing yoga. And if you're a young guy, I'd, I suggest you start doing yoga before you notice problems to be able to um, prevent them in the future. So that's it, guys. I highly recommend um, yoga. You know the benefits now. And... You know, you can either follow along with my routine, the RLD high yoga routine, but I suggest you try with a class for, you know, three to five months to really have things mastered before you start doing it on your own at home. So thanks for watching, and as always, I wish you guys all the best.